So uh, today we'll be checking out the Bagisto mobile app builder that uh, allows in the creation of a fully native Android application for your Bagisto e-commerce store and thereby you can increase the accessibility of your Bagisto store as well. Now the app can be published on the Google Play Store with the real-time synchronization of products, categories, customers, orders, etc. between your Bagisto website and the mobile app itself. Also, it offers the best features with which the customers remain engaged to the mobile application. So uh, in today's video tutorial, I'll be showing you the workflow of the mobile app itself on my Android platform based uh, mobile device. I've already installed the Bugisto Laravel e-commerce mobile app from the Google Play Store. So now to open the app, I just need to tap here on the app icon. But before we proceed further, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then kindly do give it a thumbs up. So to open the app, I'll just tap here on the Bugisto Laravel e-commerce mobile app uh, icon that I can see. And this brings up this uh, splash screen first. And then we can see the home page of the mobile app itself, as you can see right now. So I'm just scrolling down on the... Uh, home page now uh, at the very top uh, we have the featured categories there now these can be set from the back end there under the uh, mobicool uh, configuration settings and then the uh, particular uh, featured categories are visible to the customers at the storefront as well and from here they can access any of these categories by just tapping on the category and uh, the respective products of those categories would be displayed to the customers there and from here also the customers can tap on any of the products there and that would bring up the complete details of the product as you can see so this product is a new product and it's in the stock right now here we have the product name uh, the price in stock we have the short description we have an option to increase the quantity or decrease the quantity of the product we have the details of the product and we have the more information like the brand is Samsung for this one and we have an add to cart button as well now let's go back now uh, the uh, mobile app home page is basically divided into different sections at the very top we have the featured categories then we have the banners now the banners can be of two types one is the product banner and the category banner now what happens is that if it's a product banner then when we tap on that it brings up the particular uh, product itself so for example if i tap on this one this would uh, bring up the particular product uh, uh, there so that was a uh, product banner and uh, the category banner basically displays the complete list of uh, products within that category as you can see right now so I've uh, tapped on that and uh, the particular products in that category are visible so uh, at the top we have the featured categories then we have the banners banners of are of two types the, uh, the product banner and the category banner then uh, we have the carousals uh, and we have used the carousals to display the different products there now uh, we have created a carousal with the name featured uh, collection also can you note that the carousals can be of image type product type featured top offered so this is the featured collection that you can see then we have the top offered uh, uh, products then we have the upcoming products as you can see then we have the new arrivals and lastly we have the summer offers uh, as well now these are also the carousals there now this one the upcoming uh, product uh, carousal this is of the type uh, product type so we have created this carousal and added the products to it the new arrivals is also uh, the product type uh, we have added the products to that and the summer offers that you can see in the last is of the image type here we have added the images and uh, for the images uh, in this carousal you can add categories or the products so for example the new summer collection image that i've added i've assigned the category to it so if i tap on that it will bring the particular categories products uh, to be displayed uh, onto the screen to the customers there now uh, going back uh, to the home screen here so that was about the home screen and at the very top if you see uh, we have the uh, search icon uh, if I tap on that, we can search for the uh, products within the store. For example, if you remember a product name, you can search that up and you can navigate to that particular product as well. 
and then you can find the details of the product as well so that was the search icon then we have the notification icon as you can see all of the notifications that are sent by the admin from the back end of the uh, Bagister store under the be cool configuration there would be available to the customers under the notification section and then we have the cart icon that has the products uh, that uh, you want to purchase right now the cart is empty now coming to the bottom left hand corner uh, here you can see that we are on the home screen after that we have the category so if i tap on the categories that would uh, basically bring up the complete list of categories that are there within the store and from here the customers can choose any of the categories to build their subcategories and the products within that particular category so for example if you want to go to the western wear i'll just tap on the western wear and that's the subcategory and we can find the complete list of products within that so that was about the uh, categories then we have the account section let me log out of the account there so uh, under the account option here we have two different options one is to sign in if you're already a registered customer then you can enter your email and uh, password and then you can type on the sign in button to sign into your account otherwise if you want to create an account you can directly tap here on the create an account option enter your first name your last name your email address set your password and confirm your password and lastly tap on the create account button to create a new account within the store there now to log in you'll have to tap on the sign in and then entering the email and password and tapping on the sign in would sign you up into your account and there you'll find three different sections one is the orders address book and the account information now under the orders uh, you'll be able to find the complete list of orders that you have placed within this store you can check the details of the orders as well by just tapping on a particular order and that will bring up the complete details like the items ordered price details shipping and the payment info for that particular order under the address book you'll find your uh, default billing in the shipping address apart from that if you have added any other addresses uh, those would also be available there and visible you can edit your other address by tapping on the edit link and that would bring up the edit section for that address as you can see you can make the changes and tap on the save address to save the address there you can also remove a uh, other address by tapping on the remove button there to add a new address at the top you can tap on the add new address button then uh, you can enter your details your address and tap on the save address button to save the particular address lastly we have the account information section here you'll find your first name last name your gender your date of birth your phone number from here you can change your email by toggling the change email uh, uh, button or you can change your password as well and to change your password you'll have to enter your current password then the new password and then you have to confirm your new password and then just tap on the save button to save the changes within your account information so that was about the account information section and lastly we have the more section so here we have the uh, three different sections one is the preferences others and the contact us so under the contact us you can contact the store owner by entering your phone number your message and you can send the message there if you've already logged in your name and email would automatically be entered there uh coming to the preferences right now uh kindly note that this particular bagisto mobile app supports both ltr and the rtl languages there we have already implemented it and it would be up and uh, live in the next uh, version that will be uh, publishing out then we have the currency so you can uh, basically change the currency of the uh, store there so you can choose between multiple currencies there so that's uh how you can do uh, what we say as uh, you can choose uh, the LTR or the R2L languages you have the option to change the currencies as well now under the other section we have the about us return policy terms and conditions and terms of use these can be set up from the uh, Mobicool uh, app configuration in the admin backend panel of the Bagisto store there so you can set up the about us and that about us would then be reflected here to the customers and the same goes for the uh, return policy uh, terms and conditions and the terms of use as well now let's uh, go ahead and let's add a product into the cart and uh, then we'll make a checkout so I'll just go to the home page once again and uh, let's uh, choose this wide angle lens so let me open this product it's in stock I'll just go for two units I'll tap here on the add to cart button 
and the particular product would be added into the cart let's tap on the cart icon on the top right hand corner the product is in the cart as you can see if you have any discount coupon codes you can apply that up and that discount would then be reflected under the price details here under the discount section let's tap on the proceed button now here our, our shipping address is already selected if you want to change that you can tap on the change address select your different address that would be updated then choose your shipping method and tap on the proceed button thereafter uh, here uh, on the payment section you have to choose your payment method check the order summary there and tap on the place order button thereafter and that will place the order for this particular product using the mobile app the order has been placed now let's check the order uh, details by going to my account orders so here's the order number 54 that we have just uh, placed there along with the details there, like the items ordered price details shipping and the payment info uh, information as well so let's go back and let's go back to the home page so yes that was much about the uh, Bugisto mobile app and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same and how the uh, app appears to the customers at the uh, mobile end if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.ubidis.com apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead